welcome to let me know youtube channel good morning students here is our next class in this class i am going to explain only the answers of practice exercise and self practice both okay so first practice exercise the first question is on dividing a number by 9 the quotient is 12 and the remainder is 7 then the number is okay we already discuss this a division algorithm so the division formula is dividend equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder here divisor is 9 quotient is 12 remainder is 7 so 9 into 12 plus 7 108 plus 7 equal to 115 115 is the number what we need okay the next question what least number must be subtracted from 543 to get the number exactly divisible by 8 so we know that uh, divisibility of 8 last three digits of a number is divisible by 8 then the number is divisible by 8 okay so here we have only three digit number directly do the division 86 of 48 54 minus 48 6 63 63 Eight seven is fifty six seven. Seven must be subtracted from five forty three to get the number is divisible by eight. What seven must be subtracted from five forty three to get the number must be divisible by eight. Again, we have third question. The number four thousand three hundred and eighteen should be divided by. Which number so that the quotient is seventeen? Okay, here the given the number. Here also we are going to use only division algorithm. A dividend equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder. Four three one eight is the number. Equal to divisor x into quotient seventeen plus remainder zero. There is no remainder because the number must. Uh, completely divisible by seventeen, so seventeen x equal to forty three one eight. Then x equal to four three one eight by seventeen. By doing the division, we are going to get the number x equal to two fifty four. That is the divisor. <laughs> Next, what must be added to two thousand nine hundred and ten so that the quotient is two forty three. On dividing by twelve, so two forty three into twelve equal to two nine one six. So minus two nine one zero. The difference is six. So six must be added to two nine one zero, so that the quotient is two forty three on dividing by twelve. We have to add six to two nine one zero. Which of the greatest to four digit number is exactly divisible by eighty eight? We know that four digit number greatest to four digit number is double nine double nine. Divide that with eighty uh, eight. So we are going to get fifty uh, five is the remainder. So we must be subtract that remainder from double nine double nine so that the number is. Nine thousand nine hundred and forty-four. That should be must be divisible by eighty-eight. Next, sixth one. Which one of the following number is exactly divisible by eleven? So by taking, we have to check all the numbers. But I here I took only the number which is divisible by eight eleven. One double three one. So, odd numbers, sum of odd numbers minus sum of even numbers. Sum of odd plus numbers is one plus three four. Sum of even plus numbers is one plus three again four. Four minus four zero. Then thirteen thirty one is completely divisible by eleven. Next, if ten uh, star four are uh, divisible by three. The number at star is. This is a four-digit number. In place of star, what digit should be used? Then it is completely divisible by three. 
so we know that uh, divisibility of 3 is sum of the all the digits of the given number must be divisible by 3 then the number is divisible by 3 so 1 plus 0 plus 4 it is 5 so in place of star we use only 1 then only it will it will be divisible by 3 so 1 plus uh, 5 plus 1 is 6 6 is divisible by 3 then the number is also divisible by 3 next if the number 32,005 star 6 is exactly divisible by 3 then the number at which comes at the place of star so here also same sum of the digits of the given number 3 plus 2 plus 5 plus 6 16 so star must be contained 2 only then only it will become 18 18 is divisible by 3 then the number is divisible by 3 next if 34,000 star 24 is divisible by 9 then the number is at star is so here also the, the divisibility of 9 is sum of the digits in the given number must be divisible by 9 so 3 plus 4 plus 2 plus 4 it will become 13 13 plus star so in 90 in 9 table nearer multiple is 18 so to get 18 we need to add in place of star 5 only so 13 plus 5 equal to 18 then star equal to 5 5 must be added to that number in place of star we have ha we have to get only 5 find the units digit in the product of 4326 into 5321 in this unit digit number is 6 into 1 6 ones are 6 next the unit digit number at uh, the product of 2467 to the power of 153 into 3441 to the power of 72 so 7 unit digit is 7 7 to the power of 153 into 1 to the power of 72 7 to the power of 153 is nothing but 7 only. Next. 1 to the power of 72 is nothing but 7 only. 1 only. So 7 1 is 7. The unit digit is 7 only. Next. A man's monthly salary. A man's monthly salary is 25,000 he spent 2500 on class 4000 on food 3000 on house rent and 3500 on education monthly his monthly savings is total salary 25,000 total spent 13,000 add all the spends 13,000 then his savings equal to salary minus spent 25,000 minus 70 13,000 that is 12,000 his monthly savings is 12,000 next the unit digit in the product of 163 into 87 star into 239 b1 then the digit at the place of star will be so 3 into 9 27 27 into star so 7 into star in 7 ones are 7 7 twos are 14 7 threes are only 21 then only we are going to get units digit is 1 so in place of star we need to use 3 next on dividing 55,055 by 11 the quotient obtained is 11 fives are 55 0 so again we are taking two digits at a time that's why again one more zero 11 fives are 55 zero so 5055 sorry so 5005 is the answer the quotient is 5005 so 9 lakh 70 thousand 8 star 3 
800 and star 3 is divisible by 3 and 9 then uh, in place of star what a digit we are going to get that is a question so both the 3 and 9 divisibility rules are same so some of the digits in the given number must be divisible by 3 and 9 then the number is divisible by 3 and 9 so 9 plus 7 plus 0 plus 8 plus 3 plus star is so 27 plus star so, so 27 is divisible by both the 9 and 3 then no need to use any digit at star just keep it as 0 so 27 plus 0 equal to 27 so in place of star we are going to use only 0 next find the greatest number of four digit which is exactly divisible by 75 greatest to four digit number is 999999 so while we are dividing with 75 divide this one with 75 75 one was 75 so 4 2 again take a 9 2 down to 49 so 75 3 is a 225 again 249 75 3 is a 225 so the remainder is 24 subtract that remainder from 9919 and you are going to get a 9975 this is the number which is exactly divisible by 75 so here is the self practice answers so first answer is sorry the question is first the greatest number of five digits exactly divisible by eight is greatest number of five digits is 99999 so just divide that one with 8 you are going to get the remainder as 7 that 7 you have to subtract from 99999 you are going to get the answer is 99992 or else we know already divisibility rule of 8 so take last 3 digit number and divide with 8 then you are going to get the same remainder 7 that you have to subtract from 9999 then you are going to get 992 so then the answer is 99992 so go with this short form only here just I explained both next question in the election a candidate A gets 2,52,130 votes and while the candidate B get 1,13,717 votes then the number of votes with which candidate A wins are 2,52,130 minus 1,13,717 so the answer is 1,38,413 next which of the four numbers is exactly divisible by 3 in the given numbers just do sum of all the digits of the given number 2 plus 5 plus 7 plus 2 9 plus 2 11 11 plus 5 16 so it's not 3 plus 4 7 7 plus 1 8 8 plus 1 9 so this is the number which is exactly divisible by 3 3411 <coughs> next which of the following numbers is exactly divisible by 9 here also just do the sum of the digits of the given number 2 plus 0 is 2 2 plus 7 9 9 plus 5 14 14 plus 6 20 that is not next 1 plus 0 1 1 plus 8 9 9 plus 3 12 12 plus 6 6 18 so this is the number which is exactly divisible by 9 which of the numbers is exactly divisible by 8 
so take last four digit number of the given numbers triple four it is not divisible by eight four forty two this is also not divisible by eight zero ninety six so ninety six eight ones are eight eight twos are sixteen so this is the number which is exactly divisible by eight The number is eight thousand ninety six is exactly divisible by eight. If two star three four five is divisible by nine, then what will come at star? Sum of the digits of the given number is divisible by nine. Then the number is divisible by nine. Then two plus star plus three plus four plus five. That is fifteen plus star. Fifteen plus star. So next multiple of nine is eighteen. So fifteen plus four only. Here see two plus star plus three plus four plus five. That is fourteen. Fourteen plus star equal to the next multiple of 9 is 18 so 14 plus 4 equal to 18 in place of star we need to use 4 only okay then the next question is what least number should be subtracted from 413 so that the resulting number is exactly divisible by 13 so 413 13 threes are 39 23 13 ones are 13 so 10 must be subtracted from the 413 so that the given number must be divisible by 13 413 is uh, so 10 is subtracted from that 413 then the given number uh, we are going to get a number that number must be uh, divisible by 13 One lakh twenty-five thousand is to be distributed among five persons. Then the share of each person is so just divide one lakh twenty-five thousand with five. You are going to get the share of each person. That is twenty-five thousand. The greatest number of three digits divisible by five is so that is nine hundred and ninety-five because. In the given numbers, the greatest number of three digits is 990, 995, 105. Only three digit numbers, three only there. In that, 995 only the greatest three digit number. So, what is the divisibility rule of five? In place of units place, we have zero or five. That number is divisible by five. Here we have units place five. Then the number is divisible by five only. Next, what least number should be added to 64 to make it as make it uh, divisible by 7? So, just divide that number with 7, you are going to get a remainder as 1. That remainder you must be subtract from divisor. What is the divisor here? 7. 7 minus 1, 6. This 6 must be added to 64 then the number is divisible by 7 this 6 must be added to 64 then we are going to get a, a number is divisible by 7 that is 70 57,244 is divisible by sorry 11th one the number 7 lakhs 72 lakhs 54,000 star 38 is divisible by 9 then the number is divisible which comes at the place of star is so divisibility of 9 is sum of the digits of the given number is divisible by 9 then the number is divisible by 9 
7 plus 2 plus 5 plus 4 plus star plus 3 plus 8 that is 29 29 plus star so what is the next multiple of 9 36 in place of star we use 7 then only it will become 36 so star equal to 7 57,244 is divisible by check so for uh, it is divisible by 4 then 44 by 4 that is 11 so last two digit number is divisible by 4 then the given number also divisible by 4 check for 11 sum of the odd plus numbers minus sum of the even plus numbers 4 plus 2 plus 5 that is 11 then even plus numbers 4 plus 7 11 11 minus 11 0 so this number 57,244 is divisible by 11 and 4 next the number between 800 and 900 be divisible by completely 13 and 17 is take the numbers and do the division manually so here 884 13 6 are 78 1 are 4 13 8 are 1 are 4 so you are this is the number which is divisible by 13 then check for the 17 also 17 5 are 85 34 17 2 are 34 so 884 is the number which is divisible by 13 and 17 completely what is the units digit in the given number 44 into 88 into 21 so 8 into 4 into 1 so 4 8 is a 32 32 into 1 2 into 1 2 okay this is for today check your answers and uh, do practice well so thank you thank you for watching